Evening, Mr. Faber. Evening, Newton. How goes the reading? Slow, Mr. Faber. Very slow. I started learning late, and it's hard to catch up. Yeah. Oh. Roddy ain't back yet? No, sir, no sign of him. He should have been back by yesterday. Well, I hope he finds water. Them steers have been living on their own sweat, and that's a fact. Well, in my opinion, there sure ain't no country to be pushing cattle in. Now, when you come up with a fact about how to get around that country instead of an opinion, then I will listen you to a fairly well. Miss Brown, how's the water holding up? We got one full barrel and one half empty. Well, squeeze it. I'm gonna need all the water we can. We got a lot of desert to go through first. All right, Mushy, bring me an iron. Tell him drink it while it's hot. Mr. Wishbone fixed this for you. Says it's prime for your Quincy. There ain't no liquor in it, Mr. Newton. My body is a temple. It ain't fit to contaminate a temple with hard liquor. Well, no, sir, it surely ain't. Well, what's in it? Mr. Wishbone said it ain't nothing but pepper tea. Pepper tea, huh? You tell Mr. Wishbone I'm mighty grateful. How far are you in that book, Mr. Newton? As far as the bee gats. There's a sight of bee gats to get through, Mushy. A mortal sight of bee gats. Well, did he take it? That tell I told him there ain't no liquor, huh? Blah. There's a man that's drunk enough whiskey to fill the Rio Grande and stole enough cattle to fill all of Texas. And when it come to just plain ordinary sinning and general hell raising, Jeb Newton's name belongs right at the top. Now he's gone and got himself salvation and won't take a little potion for the sake of his body for fear it'll put a spot on his soul. Tell you, boy, there's nothing worse nor more unreasonable than a retired sinner. So who do you Be quiet. Something wrong, Mr. Wishbone? That ain't no real owl, Mr. Faber. That's that fire. Come on, Quincy. Mr. Favor, those moccasins, they're Cheyenne, all right, but well, she don't look Cheyenne to me. Could be a slave. No, I don't think so. What do you see? It's that paint. They use that for ceremonial burnings, and there ain't a savage kicking that would paint a slave. Oh, she's a witch. That's why they wanted to burn her. <laughs> Mr. Favor, get rid of her. Turn around. She'd just bring evil on all of us. Don't matter what she brings. Leastways, not now. Look at that. She's no more Indian than I am. Who was an owl? Lived in an oak. Whiskey, whiskey, weedle. The only words he ever spoke were fiddle, faddle, feedle. 
hunter chanced to pass that way, whiskey, whiskey, weedle, and said, I'll shoot you, stupid bird. Fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. That's hot enough. Pour it in the basin and take it in there. You can come on now. Now, you get out of there. Oh, yes, sir. Soap to wash yourself. Well, you just take your time and it'll come to you. Brushed off your dress as good as I could. Where you been? I've been looking for you since yesterday. I'm scouting. You're the one who sent me. Oh, God. I uh, ran into a band of dog soldiers had to swing west. Any trouble? No, no trouble. I just wasn't looking for any, that's all. Well, what did you find? Oh, at the end of the rainbow. Good grazing water just a few days north of here. Hey, you keep that up. You know I'm going to give you a raise? What's that? A little raise. Oh, you mean that? Well, that's Wishbone's bathhouse for straight females, I guess. White woman Female. we come across last night, yeah. She'd been delirious, still in a state of shock. Seems like she escaped from the Cheyenne. Okay, coming up. Tell me what that's all about. Beats me. Been like that since we found her. Boss. Hmm? Uh-uh. Cheyenne. They the ones you saw? Yeah, looks like them. They want a parley. Tell them to come on in. this woman. Where are Running Horse's eyes? Anyone can see that she is not of the Cheyenne Nation. She belongs with us. It is you who cannot see. She is Michi Manito. Look in her eyes. She has witch's eyes. Mm, she has fooled you like she fooled us. When we found her, we thought spirits protected her. That was why we did not kill her then. Where did you find her? That way. Four days towards sun. Uh, who was with her? She was alone. We take her along with us. We give her food. We keep her in our lodges. 
But things happened. Buffalo went away. People were hungry. Much sickness, people die. Other things happen. We hold counsel, talk much. Say this woman witch must die, that lord. All right, I'll tell you what I'll do. We'll take the woman with us. We will take her far away from the Cheyenne. Then she will not bother them anymore. There is only one way to destroy the evil spirit that this woman brings among us. She must die. Then evil in her will die also. But if there is no evil spirit, what if this Michi Manitou is only a sickness, easily cured? No cure, Michi Manitou, only death. Give her to me. She stays with us. Then we will take her! That running horse, he don't bluff none. He said he's gonna take that woman. He could take her, even if he had to take us. Well, that's his problem, then. The army can settle it when we get to Bent Fort. Wishbone, she'll ride with you. The rest of you get out to the herd and keep it tight. And no shooting unless you absolutely have to. Let's get rolling. Maybe 12. More coming. Uh, Looks like half the Cheyenne Nation will be visiting us before this is over with. How far ahead is that water, Ruddy? We'll make it by tomorrow night. Yeah. Them Cheyenne lettuce. Favor. Hmm? I was just thinking. There are 25 men on this drive. 25 men. Yeah, so? Well, I, I was wondering. Is one woman worth 25 men? Better get some sleep, Newt. No, I need no answer. I'll tell you straight. That witch is going to cost us. Which? Look, now. Banshees, goblins, and witches belong in fairy stories. Well, the ashes of some Salem cookout. Now, the Cheyenne don't know no better, but you do. Leastways, you're supposed to. It says right here in this book that hell sends out its imps in many disguises to bring about the damnation of man. And as far as I'm concerned, imps and witches are the same thing, servants of Lucifer. All right, calm down. Now, look, use what little good sense you've got. Do you really think the devil is going to be that concerned? Is he going to waste that much time on a cattle drive? The drovers are known as pretty good sinners all by themselves without any help. And I swear, last time I looked around, I didn't see one little old halo. Well, that's because they don't work on their salvation like I do. Oh, please, Mr. Favor, don't let him get me to till I finish the book and earn my salvation. Now, you ain't gonna get your salvation by bringing back the Dark Ages. Now, get this straight. That girl is not a witch. She is sick, and she is gonna stay with us, leastways until we can get her to a doctor. Now, if you don't like that, you can get on your horse and you can ride out of here right now. Is that plain enough? How far do you think I'd get by myself? <laughs> yeah. 
it ain't me that's gonna go. No, sir. Not me. You figure out there now. Uh, it's 20 that I can see. That means there must be twice that many hidden in gopher holes and around. And there are 25 of us. Worried? Man's only got a certain number of years to live. I don't feel like hurrying up to die. Everybody's gonna die sometime. Seems to me you've had your share of years. I can't afford to die. Not yet. There's too much sinning to make up for. Way too much. It was an accident, Jason. You have to believe that. You shouldn't have left me alone. I was frightened. I didn't mean to kill you. I couldn't hurt you. You haven't hurt me. Sure you're not just having a bad dream? Dream? That's what it is. I was dreaming. It was all a dream. But this isn't a dream. It's now. It's real. Maybe you better get some sleep, don't you think? No. I never want to sleep again. I'm awake now. The dream is over. You're not dead at all. You're right here. With me, Jason, where you belong. It's Abby, Jason. You're Abby. Abby? Huh. Where is Jason, Abby? Right here with me. Where he'll always be. I'm not Jason. For better or worse. You mustn't go out. Don't listen to the owl. The owl? It's only an owl, Jason. Nothing but an owl. You mustn't go out. Not by the ten trees. Please, stay with me. Ah! No, don't go, don't go. I won't let you go. What's the matter? Oh, not again. Not again. It's starting all over again. We'll see if you can't do something don't for go. her. I'll give her a dose no, of laudanum the best I can do. No. All right, come along. No. Everything will no. be all right. You just come no. with wishbone. No. She woke me up and kept calling me Jason. Said she had a dream that I was dead. 
She told me her name was Abby. And mentioned I shouldn't go out when I heard an owl hoot. Something about ten tree. That's... That's an owl. That's what always seems to tip her off. Now you go ahead and swallow this. It'll make you feel better. Abby. You are Abby, aren't you? No. No, Abby died with Jason. They died together under the ten trees. What about the owl? How come you're so afraid of an owl? There was an owl. Lived in an oak. Whiskey, whiskey, weedle. And all the words he ever spoke were fiddle, paddle, fiddle. Us out all around us. Dog on there stepped on a couple before I got back. How far'd you go? Well, clear up their main camp. There's 50 or 60 of them up there, and there's more coming in, too. And, well, I, I sure hate to say it, but I don't think we're going to push that herd much further. But we will push it. Yeah, but it, it might be easier if we had a little help. You know, I could get to Ben's Fort and be back here by sundown tomorrow. We'd be in heaven by sundown tomorrow, too. Oh, not with that done horse mine. Well, there ain't a Cheyenne pony around here that can outrun him. And besides, Miss Raver, might be our only chance. I'm afraid you got a point. You'll have to be riding full out when you hit those flats and get to the ridges. After you hit the high ground, stay down in the draws till you get clear. I'll do it. And Jim. It's no strain, Mr. Faber. I always did have a little grease pig in me. Look for me night after next. I might be wearing a blue coat for you. too easy, though. Afraid they know something we don't. Whatever it is, it's all bad news for us. They've been waiting for us. Didn't even want to risk hitting us out in the open. It's doubled ahead. Picked their own spot where they could really nail us. Looks like the end of the line. Yeah. I'll bet them down.
Don't fire, it's Quince. Sorry, I guess I just run out of grease, boss. There, there's more than a hundred dog soldiers up there. And running horse says to give him the woman by sunup. Or by sundown tomorrow. He's, he says his dogs will be feeding on us. All right, back in your stations. Can't let us die for an Indian witch. I ain't gonna die. No, sir, not yet. Mashi, hurry up with that hot water. Come here, Miss Wishbone. Now go get me that pot of axle grease. Best thing in the world for his back. Right away. Twenty-five men on your conscience. Twenty-five men suffering the burning fires of perdition. Turn the devil out. Burn Jezebel out of your heart. It's the only way you can save yourself. It's the only way you can save all of us. Now you do like I say. You hear? Do just like I say. If I didn't know better, I'd say that Cheyenne pulled out completely. You checked the herd? No, I checked with the Nighthawks. They haven't seen any signs. Mr. Faber, the girl, she's gone. She's what? I told her to sit quiet in the wagon while I fixed up Quince, and when I got back, she was gone, just like the night had swallowed her up. Senores, Senor Newton, he's gone, and two horses were taken from the picket line. Newton? He said he wasn't ready to die yet. You don't suppose he's taken that little girl back to those savages? I'm afraid that's it. That's the reason the Cheyenne pulled out. They got what they come for. Imperishable oversaw and consumption and the burning age, which will consume the ages and cause sorrow from the heart. <laughs> that is upon me. I don't see the light. I, I look, but I don't see the light. There's nothing more to do. It's late. There is no salvation. Newton, what happened? They lynched me. I took them, the woman. Told them she was as to burn. I, I, I thought they'd let me be. And they lynched me. Like I was a dog sick with their evil spirit. They lynched me. I did it for you, Mr. Faber. For all of you. When you see. Young. 
I was only trying to get saved. And I, I missed out I'd done right, and that's the worst sin of all. She won't feel much. It's the best thing for her. You hear me, girl? It's the best thing. Oh, please don't let it hurt. It's the best thing. It's the best thing. Kiss her. Poor old man. He never did get through them baguettes. It's all over. No more to be done. We can go after the girl. There is no chance. Can't you realize that it'd take a whole regiment to bring her back? Look, I still say we can... I say it's done. That's final. Why don't you get a shovel, spade Newton in? Wishbone, break camp. Get ready to get rolling. The rest of you get out to the herd. We're moving out right now. Didn't you hear me? Yeah, I heard you. Jesus. I may be gone for a little while. You settle up my horse. But you told us... Yeah, well, there just might be an outside chance for one man. Well, it's no more idiotic than the whole bunch going and be the same chances. But look, you make sure my orders stand whether I get back or not. Comprende? Nice day for a ride. Me? I just had to get away from the smell of cooking for a while. Uh, you see, uh, Quince and Scarlett got them all stretched out, and they're running nice and easy. Now, Mr. Favor, you know very well that I'm the only one who can handle that girl. And Rowdy will... Well, hey, what he's trying to tell you is that we're going to go along with you. And there's not really too much you can do about it now. Yeah, you can just make the best of it. Uh, you coming? Behind China, Do Windsor, Cosa Hill, Wicapiota, Villa! Dancing and hollering and celebrating. My guess would be daylight before we start burning. What about the woman? She's right in the middle of them. I suppose when they get celebrating real good, I might be able to sneak around them. Wait, running horse. Burn me first. Look, look, it, it doesn't matter to you, but I must die before the woman. Well, don't you understand? Don't you realize what'll happen when you kill her? The evil spirit will, will come out of her. 
it will come out of her in the smoke of the burning fire. And that smoke will fall on, on everyone around. That smoke will fall on me, and the, the evil spirit will get into me. Please, running horse, please. You say many things. Some things may be true, other things may be lies. Can evil spirit be driven from woman by white man's medicine? I can try, running horse. But the woman will have to be taken back to where the spirit took her, where you found her. I will take you there. If you do not drive evil spirit from white woman, there will be no more talk. Only fire. No more talk, only fire. Just what do you hope to gain by all this? Yeah, what happens when we reach this place? Uh, it's of evil spirits or whatever it is. I don't know, Roddy. I just don't know. Sitting on rocks of dead. You till sun once more. Then I send braves. About it. This is the place. Who's buried there, Abby? You mustn't go too far, Jason. The owl you mustn't go too far. Mighty heavy caliber made that. At least a 50. Rowdy, bring her along inside. Here it is. Sharps 50 caliber. She kept calling me Jason. Abigail and Jason Bartlett, June 10th, 1865. Look, Abby. You know these people, don't you? Jason and Abigail. Jason's dead. But Abigail isn't, right? Shh. Jason. You've let the clock stop. The clock should never stop. 
Wind it. It mustn't strike. The clock must never strike. Why mustn't it strike, Abby? It's when the owl hoots. Jason comes. Poor Jason. Clock strikes, owl hoots. Jason comes. A hunter, chance to pass this way. I said I'd shoot you, Stuart. Boss, it makes sense. Yeah. That is what happened, isn't it, Abby? You were alone here. It was night and you were scared, and Jason was out hunting, wasn't he? Jason. Yeah, he'd, he'd left you alone. You remember? No. Jason would never leave me alone. Not in the dark. And then you heard the owl. It was night. And you heard the owl, didn't you? Jason. And then the clock struck. That said it. It's late at night. You're frightened. And you hear the owl. And then the clock strikes. No. Abby, Abby what happened? Jason's gone. It's dark. Clock kept striking and striking. Then I heard the owl. Oh. Did you hear it? The owl? Yes, Abby, I hear it. What does it mean? Whiskey, whiskey, weedle. A hunter chance to pass this way. They're coming. It's dark, and Jason's gone, and they're coming. The rifle. Where's the rifle? It's all right now. I killed him. I killed him. Just put it out of your mind. It's all over. Who are you? Friends. We just happened by, Mrs. Bartlett. And then, then I started this, and I can't remember. You've been a little sick. What did happen? There was a report of Indians. Jason was afraid they'd run off the stock. So he went out to gather the cattle and hide them. I didn't come home, and I got frightened. I hadn't been out here very long. I guess I started hearing things, but I thought they were real. And I think I fell asleep. I woke up. The cabin was dark. The clock was striking. Then I heard an owl. I remember Jason telling me about Indian signals. I got the rifle. Then I heard steps. I 
remember firing the gun. And I saw who it was. He stood there. His eyes looking so surprised. I started to scream his name and I tried. But it wasn't any use. I loved my husband very much, and I... I wanted to die with him. Right there. Maybe that's just sort of what you did, Mrs. Bartlett. You died for a little while. <laughs> Roddy, might as well go get those Cheyenne and tell them there's nothing to be afraid of now. That evil spirit, it's buried. Wishbone will see you into Bent's Fort. The army will provide transport to your home. Thank you for everything. Bye, Mr. Favor. Miss Bartlett. I'm grateful to all of you. Yeah, one time. For an ornery son of a gun. Comes out from under it like it was greased. Hey, Seuss. Si, senor. It's time to move out. Let the stallion loose. The caballo will be valuable to us. Hey, Seuss. I said turn him loose. One more try, senor. One more try. Come on, boy. All you gotta do is bend. What am I gonna do? A few high kicks for you? I told you I couldn't bend. All right, take it easy. Mushy, pick up the supply wagon. You get yourself a passenger. Yes, sir. Wish. How bad? Blessed if I know. He hasn't got one thing except one little tiny scratch. You gotta look at cross-eyed to see. Anything you can do. Outside of sweet talking him, not one blessed thing. It takes a doctor to figure out a back like that. And Jim says there's a town of Gold Hill about 10 miles further up. Maybe there's a dock there. Senor, 
Senor, let me go onto this gold hill and get the doctor. Your horse is coming in all by themselves these days, Jesus? No, senor. Then what in the ever-loving are you doing standing around here? Huh? <laughs> よくいらっしゃいました。Never believe it. No matter what I say, Senor Fever, you'll never believe it. Tarde, senor. I, uh, I found the horses. Uh, senor Rowdy, I hope you feel better. Jesus, who is that? Why, uh, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Well, you see, she was with the horses, I think. I mean, I fell, and, well, there she was. All I know is uh, this is her wagon, and uh, she's lost. Well, everybody step aside. I'll find out who she is. You will. Well, I speak Japanese. I got a cousin who sails out of San Francisco, goes over there all the time. Sayonara. Well, sayonara. What's the matter? Don't you speak your own language? What's that mean, Wish? Well, it's kind of a greeting, like, hello. Mr. Wishbone. What? If you mean hello, why don't you say hello? Because she wouldn't understand, you idiot. What's your name? My name, Nami. Nami, that's pretty. Nami's her name, Mr. Wishbone. Oh, for heaven's sake. Hey, must she ask her how she got way out here? Sure. How'd you get out here? Wagon. Wagon, Mr. Wishbone. I got ears. You uh, mean you were part of a wagon train? Many wagon? Hi, many wagon. Master Baron Sakai sell San Francisco and buy many goods. Sure. Well, she's part of a trade mission or something. I know. 
Baron Sakai said girls haven't very bad luck. Storm come, many dust, and lose the haces and find. Well, senor, I couldn't run away and leave her. Oh, no, you couldn't. All right, you go along with us to the next town that's got a telegraph. Girls haven't been no trouble. You might not, but I can't say the same for our company. It's my eyes are giving out on me. Looks like part of Santana's bunch. Santana. That old buzzard liked to run us out of the reservation last time we were through. You know, the way they're sizing up the herd, looks like Santana's going to try to pick up where he left off. Well, you got to admit, it does make the fit and touch to a perfect day. Remuda runs off, my ramrod's out of commission, we inherit part of a Japanese trade delegation, and now... All right, Quince, break out the rifles. We'll ride the men in pairs. Yes, sir. Toothless, you'll drive the girl's wagon. And you're moving out the same as always? Oh, yeah, same as always. Oh, come on, Wish. Get Roddy loading that wagon. Get moving. Send your favor. fighting in my time. Hey, tell me, how'd you beat Wish going out all that water anyway? Oh, I smile and ask. Well, pretty girl always could beat that buzzard out of anything. What are you doing? Oh, I must put water in the tub and take it over there. Uh, no, no, me will get that. I can't go there with that. No, 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 you go on now. We'll take care of it. <laughs> You bet. Yeah. Nice. I disturb? Oh, no, no. For tired face. Oh. Well, Nami, you didn't stay lost long. By the end of the week, uh, we will be in Gold Hill. Yes. Maybe. <laughs> yes, maybe. What? Maybe I stay. Stay? You mean with us? Maybe he says I need girl servant. Why, uh, uh, you couldn't be my girl servant, Nami. Could not? No. Must return? Must return. Hi. Uh, now, look, Nami. It isn't that we wouldn't want you here with us. You know that. Hmm? It's just that 
Well, right now, we have more problems than that we can handle. Senor Audi, he's, he's no better. It's my fault. I make a foolish mistake, and Senor Feva grows angry. Out of shame, I make more mistakes and more. Well, girls haven't wished to help. Then maybe Jesus sent you. Oh, no. Oh, my. Jesus sent you feel better after bath. Over here, please. Oh, well, I hope it ain't too hot for you. Try, please. Uh, never mind. Uh, it's all right. Now, wait a minute, Naomi. You mean this ain't for you? For girl servant? In America, girl servant bathed before master? Yeah, but that ain't the point. But girl servant bathed later. First, Jesus' son, then old drover, then girl servant. Yeah, but... Don't you reckon that water's going to be a little bit dirty by the time you get around to it? Why, everybody wash before. Before getting in the tub? In America, people take bath dirty. Well, not being partial to soap and suds, I can't think of any other reason for it. Poor little old thing. Son's got to her as sure as the devil's got a tail. Yeah. Just sit there and let the world pass you by. Next thing you'll be wanting me to spoon feed you. Wishbone. Come on, move the legs. That's all I ask. Wishbone, I'm going to close my eyes and count to ten. When I snap my fingers open my eyes, you're going to be gone, aren't you? Because if you ain't... Tommy, I mean, will you get this fuzz face out of here? Look, all you got's a little bruise in the middle of your back. And the more you baby it, the worse it's gonna get. Wishbone, you've got just five more seconds. Then pow, you're gonna be gone. It takes more than finger snapping to get rid of me. Wishbone. Uh, all right, what do you want to do? Kick me out? Come on, kick, kick, kick. Ah. If you don't mind me being personal, what are you doing here? Oh, making Japanese tent. Look, Nami, I don't need a tent. Oh, yes. Hold the steam. Steam? Help a little back. A little back? Heat and right exercise cure. Wait just a minute there. Japanese tent too short. Rowdies and too long, so head stick out. Now, wait a minute, uh, Nami. You trust? Yeah, I trust, sort of. <laughs> Get out of here. How come you're doing all this? I do this for Hazard's son. He blame himself. He worry. Yeah, well, I sure wouldn't want Hazard's son worrying. <laughs> Quite a girl, Nami. Surprised you don't nag me. Nug? Oh, yeah, that's, uh, 
horse, or scold, or... American woman, not man? Well, uh, they've been known to on occasion. But man is master. Woman is born to serve, obey. Japan or paradise? No geisha in America. Geisha? What's that? Geisha sing, dance, play. Geisha companion. Oh, is you a geisha? No. I go to school, but too clumsy, too ignorant, and good for nothing. I dance like a horse. Sing like a crow. Uh, but that isn't true. I'll tell you, why don't you sing for me? Thank you, my friend. Oh, come on, sing me a song. Kindan <laughs> don't uh, mean bride, bride song. Hey, those geishas, they, they'd have to sing like angels to sound any better than that, Nami. Sing it for us again, Nami. Jesus is supposed to be on guard. Why, uh, Jesus. Uh-huh. You bring weapons to my camp, Santanta. You also intend to bring paint? The war between us is done, Favor. Then tell your braves to go back to the lodges. Their lodges are cold, Favor. Their women and children weak, from bellies too long without food. They will not go back, not without Toltosh. Toltosh, what's that mean? That's only a legend. Story goes she was a goddess, brought health and prosperity to the Kaiwa. She is not Toltosh. She is but a girl, alone and afraid in a strange land. She is Toltosh. The sky opened in the storm, and the goddess was there. My braves followed her here, back to our land, back from the sun behind the mountains, to bring rain and buffalo to her people. Santanta, the drought will pass in time, just as it always does. The buffalo will come back of themselves. So said the long knives. So said our medicine men. They were wrong. Only Toltosh can save the Kiowa. Toltosh is a dream, a story for old women. She lives, Favor, and she is here. Very well, then. But Toltosh will stay here. You'll have to find another way. There is no other way. We must have Toltosh. The girl stays here. 
Then rifles will speak and men will die. Wasn't so bad. I mean, at least we know what they want. So why are you in canteen for Mr. Rowdy? How are you feeling? Oh, a little better, I think. Yeah, I think the crazy steam treatment is working a little bit. Guess when I get to Gold Hill, I'll have to borrow the girl servant of Jesus's again. <laughs> the side of the Kiowa? Oh, yeah. It's still out there. Mr. Wishbone says there's a storm coming. Maybe the rain will scare him off. But don't look like any rain with the sky that clear. If there's a storm coming up, it's sure stuck in those mountains. I don't know, though. Something's sure brewing. Boy, I've never felt the air so still. Oh. Take it easy. What's that? Probably a big rock slide up ahead. Well, Blue Lake's only five miles ahead. We can stop there. Not on my account. On your account? Huh. Now, Ed's account, they're beginning to drop. We can get a little water in them, though. We can still make Gold Hill by night. <laughs> the guy always let us, that is. Tell me, that's Blue Lake. It was Blue Lake. It was. Well, that's why Sun Sunday ain't hit us yet. Figuring he ain't gonna have to. All right, we'll rest up here. You tell the others. Rest? That's right. You'll be looking for us to panic. We'll just set easy and move out in our own good time. Yeah, but look, boss, we... Yeah? But what? Nothing. Hey, Look at this. Look, we're going to lay over here for an hour or two, and there's a little bit of water over at the chuck wagon if you need any. Well, I need it. Enough for a walk, but? No, I'm afraid not. Or maybe ask boss some. Well, uh, between you and me, this is no time to ask him for anything. But Bath help worried man relax. About the only thing that's going to help that worried man any would be U.S. Grant and about ten regiments.
Desert Sun, there is a thing you should know. Not now, Nomi. A trip someplace? Gold Hill. I brought the Kiowas. It's my place to go for help. I asked Senor Scarlet to watch the removal for me. One man on a fast horse might make it through. There are soldiers in Gold Hill. Trip dangerous? It is the only way, Nami. It is a necessary thing for me. Comprende? I hope Senor Favor understands too. Mr. Favor, very worried. This bad time to talk. You wait. Wait? Why? Please. Uh, uh. Konnichiwa, boss-san. <clears throat> Nami. Boss-san, a girl servant, very sorry to cause such trouble. Oh, no. No, you didn't cause it. You still have a headache? Mm. Geisha know how to stop. No, I look. Try. It's all right, Nani. Look. Mm. Boss, son. Mm -hmm. I think about all bad luck. Maybe if bad luck leaves, good luck come. What does that mean? That means girl servant should go. Maybe with haste, son. No, first place you'd never make it. Besides, you, you didn't bring bad luck. There ain't no such animal as luck, good or bad. Oh yes. Oh no. Oh, no, just. Bad judgments, good judgments. You mean you're not blaming anything outside of own self? No, nope. not a thing. Not even Hazard, son? Mm. <laughs> I see what you mean. It wasn't Jesus that decided on this cutoff. It was me. And it wasn't Jesus who forgot to order the extra barrels of water at the last town. It's funny. No, I was mad at myself before we even started up this route. Mad at myself for risking it. Let me let you in on a little secret. Last time I was through these mountains, I just about lost half my herd. That was my fault, too. See, I was sitting around hoping for a, hoping for the best, waiting for a break. Santana and this guy was, they bluffed me. Stampeded the herd, just about picked up everything they wanted. Would you believe it? And here I was, sitting around, hoping for the best again. Seriously thinking of having a parlay with Santana, offering him a couple of hundred cows to forget this goddess business. But now that's a real piece of bad judgment. Because he set on a fight. He is going to fight. Only one thing to do, one smart thing. Fight back. Yeah, we'll just move on until we find water. We'll fight Santanda every inch of the way if we got to. Well, we got the guns, ain't we? And we ain't so thirsty we can't move. Right? Aye. Boss and headache better? Mm, like it never was. You wait, mm. please. Mm. Now talk to Boss, son. What did you say to him? Please, you go. I the chuck wagon for water on us, so I'm sneaking here. Yeah. 
Well, why weren't you on guard? Why, uh, because I was waiting to ask you. I meant to tell someone else to take over. How many horses we got left? Oh, they're the ones of the men with the herd, the wagon teams, and my own. Nine, huh? Nine. Nine horses for 3,000 cows. No way to move them, no water, and a bunch of Kiowas just waiting for us to drop off of a tree like a rotten apple. Senor Favor, let me go to Gold Hill. I can bring the soldiers back. You. You, I wouldn't let cross the street by yourself. What, what are you doing? Give me this. What were you thinking of? In my country, person who commits so many sins take own life. Oh, you wouldn't do a thing like that. No, with all other fault. Also, I am great coward. Nami. He said some girls haven't afraid. We won't let the Indians hurt you. No, I am not afraid of Indian. I am afraid of catfish. Don't you worry. Afraid of what? Catfish. Under earth. I tried to tell you. You don't feel? Watch. Catfish carry earth on back, twist, turn, first a little shake, then big, then bigger. But uh, how did you know it was coming just now? Oh, I feel in air. Almost always can't tell. And uh, there will be more quakes? Oh, yes. A big one come very soon. Nami. Suppose the Kaiwas thought the goddess was doing this out of anger. Not goddess, catfish. I know, I know, but maybe we can fool them. Save Drova. Oh, no, wait a minute. I forgot about the herd. The steers will run. Hazes and stop? No, no, no one can stop them. Oh, but we could lead them, turn them. Nami, you are sure more quakes are on the way? Almost sure. All right, come on. What do you think? 
think you're going? Senor, I need the horse. Look, I told you uh, once. The, the stairs are going to stampede. Didn't you feel the air checking? Hey, Jesus, you come back here. Hey, come back here. Uh, Nami, you know what? Nami! Hey, you... What the... I think maybe you could tell me what is going on here? Indian-san, konnichiwa. Ne? Prince is very angry with you. You not act nice. Princess destroy whole earth if you don't bring us horse back. Ne? Let us pass. You leave, please. Last warning. You go. Destroy Earth. What's she doing? Uh, cat, catfish. Sorry, that next to last warning. This is last warning. You, you go, go, uh, you go. Wakaru? Destroy Earth.
doggonedest thing I ever saw. Yeah. It's like walking uphill backwards. Mr. Wishbone. Mr. Wishbone, is it all over? What's the matter? Well, everybody knows it's best to an earthquake to get in or something. Senor, uh, we turned them. Mm. The Kiowas, they left our horses when they ran. It would not be too difficult to uh, round them up. Mm. Well, Nami, everything turned out all right, I guess. For you, yes. For me, no. Mr. Favor, please, I must go back now. Go back. There's nothing to be afraid of now. The only truth. I have a small confession. I did not leave wagon train by accident. You mean you took off by yourself? I did terrible thing. I... I break a precious vase, 1,000 year old, and afraid to tell Byron Sakai that is wrong. But what I did after, much worse. You and all of you teach girl servant great lesson. A lesson? All of you face duty. Never try to hide to turn face away from truth. Indian come, you don't hide, you fight. When catfish come, you don't run. You. Save worthless servant girl. Nami, all I did was. And trouble comes, you don't change face, you save face. And I must do this. Please, I must do this. All right. Jesus schooled hills only an hour's ride north. No, uh, better it, it end here. Better you stay. No me. Wish. I'll get her wagon. No me. One day, maybe you will come back. Oh, hey, Susan. I have duty and sign paper. Say be servant until I return to Japan. A very long way. Hey, well, uh, nothing's impossible. Especially for a princess that can make the earth shake. Vaya con Dios, señor.
That's all it'll take. Those bees are hearing footsteps. Yeah, keep them as tight as you can. If they do go, try and pick out the leader. Come on, we're squeezing them cards. Ain't gonna change the spots none. Patience, Scarlet, patience. You're about to watch a master at work. to break the silence, almighty master, but are you gonna open or not? Uh, yes, uh, my good friend Jenkins, I shall open for five dollars. Five dollars? What do you think this is, a Mississippi River boat? The master has spoke. It's that grin, Jenkins. Pure possum. He's bluffing sure as mice has got ears. Five and five more to keep it company. Joe, I knew you had it in you. Oh, you're a real plunger. <laughs> I think you're both lying. There's a ten. Raise it ten more. Stampede! Stampede! Let's go! Hurry this switch boat! But you can't leave now! You can't leave now! Ah! Ah! Hurry this switch boat! Get out of the wagon to hurt ten for us! You can't leave now! But, but you can't leave now! Beautiful. <laughs> hey, Turn him! Ah. 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 cleaned up. You can get fresh supplies in the morning. You sure you all right, Mr. Wishbone? I had him, Washie. I had him right in the palm of my hand. Cold turkey. Oh, Mr. Wishbone. Well, just start cleaning it up, Mushy. <laughs> Beautiful. All it needs is some harps and a big fat cloud. Beautiful. What's beautiful? Paradise, you idiot. Paradise. Open your ears and listen. Paradise? After 10 days of 3,000 head of wall-eyed cattle, cloud bursts, coal cooking and gravel voice drovers, you can ask that. Just look around, you mushy. Just a plain little old town. 
Garden of Eden's what it is. A few rocking chairs and nothing to do but grow hair and soak up the sun. Yeah, this is real paradise to me. One of these days, I'm gonna grab me a cloud and hang on. I still say it looks just like a plain little old town. Oh, mushy, I thought there was some hope for you. I thought someday, somehow, somewhere, you'd get appreciation for the finer things of life. Well, like plain little old towns? Just pull over. Shame, shame. Uh, looks like baby's sister's got a little trouble. If you ain't out of sight time I count ten, you'll be out of sight permanent. <laughs> Don't be hasty. I'm going. What? Think we ought to help? As long as she's waving that greener. Ma'am, ma'am, you can have the kittle. Three. Two. Ma'am, don't shoot. I'm a going. Three. Sheriff, you gonna let her get away with that? Outlaws, I can shoot. Lawbreakers, I can jail. But when it comes to Amy Claybank, all I can do is watch. Five, six. Lady, put that thing down before I put some dents in it where it'll do the most good. Yo, what? Only thing worse than a loud talking woman is a big loud talking woman. Now give me that thing before I do something I might regret, having been raised up proper. And as for you, the first thing you learn out here is that the wages of sin is buckshot. Now get while the getting's good. Oh, can't thank you enough, mister. Thank you. Thank you. You can have that pan. That just don't make much sense. No, I sure don't. By now, Sister Amy would be using a runt like that for a toothpick. Yeah. Unless... Well, you don't think that... Uh, it can't be nobody else. Yeah. Now, you, do you run this store? Then get back in there behind the counter where you belong. Bushy. Pull the wagon over here, and I'll call you when I need you. Yes, sir. I could arrest him, Miss Amy. And let him think us clay banks ain't been raised proper? Lady, I haven't got all day. I'm coming. Sister Amy, uh, you, Sister Amy, you don't want to wait on a man like that, looking the way you do. Who can't hurt? Would have a shot of smell. Never fails. Run along. We'll take care of your customer for you. Mind your manners here. Why, Sister Amy, just like we always do. Lady! Sheriff, you better run along, too. This may take a little more doing than the law allows. But why? Shake open them eyes, boy. It's him back from the past we thought we buried years ago. Yeah, man, Sister Amy can handle but ghosts. Uh, that's where we come in. Yeah.
Did you have a nice rest, boy? Sure did. But don't you tell Mr. Wishbone. He'll skim me out for sure for sleeping on a job. Where is he? Oh. Well, Mr. Wishbone, a little run. I mean, a little jam with the whiskers. You been drinking, boy? Me? Myself, I always say a little mash makes the body perk proper, but not when you start seeing little runts with whiskers. First thing you know, you're gonna start seeing things crawling up and down the wall. But I don't drink. Oh, sure, son. Uh, now why don't you just run along and get a good night's sleep? It'll go away. But I can't leave without Mr. Wishbone. Ah, uh, now. We told you, boy, there ain't no Mr. Wishbone. Now, you came riding into town on that wagon all by yourself. By myself? Now, take my advice, son, and leave old devil Beezlebow Barleycorn alone. It'll lead to your ruination. But... And I wouldn't come back into town, either. Folks around here don't take kindly to ghost stories. But Mr. Wishbone ain't no ghost. I drove into town here with him this morning, and I ain't leaving town without him. That's a shame. Had his whole life in front of him, too. You, uh... Did you ever see a man with one of these sticking in one ear and poking out the other side? I tell you what. Well, we're waiting for this whiskered ghost of yours to come floating down out of the blue. Why don't I just get her started? It's for your own good, boy. It'll help you to stop seeing things. Well, Amos here is better than any old sawbones. Uh, no need. I mean, I ain't seeing things anymore. Uh, Mr. Wishbone, he never was. And you did come alone, and you are leaving alone, right? Absolutely. Have a nice trip. ain't too happy with cold dinner topped off by a cold breakfast. Hey, where's Wish? I don't know. I mean, I better talk to Mr. Favor. Well, that's your hide. He's over there somewhere. Push him in! Yesterday. You don't know. You see, Mr. Wishbone and I. Listen, what do you want to try and drive me out of my mind for? Now, will you get set up? The men are going to need a hot meal by the time they get the herd across. If I got to talk to you, Mr. Favor, it's about Mr. Wishbone. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to see him later, too. Now, are you going to get set up, or am I going to have to give you some encouragement? If I got to talk to you. Good! Get back to drag. Tell him to push and keep pushing. If I got to talk to you, Mr. Favor. <laughs>
What, pray tell, is this? Well, I don't know what Wishbone calls it, but Mushy calls it stew. Oh, I see. And what does Wishbone call it? Wishbone? I don't imagine he calls it anything. He ain't been around here lately. Hasn't been around. Two meals missed, this one best forgot, and our cook has not been around. Who oh, would somebody tell me where he is? Well, I don't know, but Mushy there could probably... Mushy! I tried to tell you, Mr. Favor. I tried to tell you. All right, then. Let's try it once again. Now, where is Wishbone? I lost him. Mm. You lost him? Well, he went in his general store. And I went back to the wagon and sat down, and I, I guess I dosed some. And when I woke up, these three men, they said, Mr. Wishbone never was. They said I drove in alone. They said he was even a ghost. Wishbone a ghost? Well, they told me to leave. Told me to forget Mr. Wishbone. And to forget forever that Mr. Beezlebub Barleycorn, whoever he is. Oh, mushy. As if I could ever forget Mr. Wishbone. Sorry about the stew. That's all right, Rusty. It's all right. I surrender. You just uh, forget about it. Keep working on the stew. Joe, you take over and hold the herd here. I should be back pretty soon. Sooner the better, Mr. Favor. My stomach ain't got much time left. Yeah, yeah, I know. Come on, Roddy. Let's go. All right, Mr. Favor's lost supplies and the wagons and all this equipment, the horses, and even the herd. Oh, wishbone. Huh? Just like the earth swallowed him up. He's gone. And if you think you're gonna get away with this, you got yourself another couple of dozen things coming. He sure does run off at the mouth, don't he? <laughs> yeah, puts me in mind of that old clock eyes that got busted. The one we took an axe to to keep from bonging. Bonging? You think this is bonging? You just wait till I start unwinding in front of a judge. You may own this fly trap you call a town, but you don't own the laws, especially the one about kidnapping. Well, now, since when is holding a man to his word called kidnapping? 30 years, Buster. That's what the book says. 30 years of busting rocks, and I have my way. You'll be doing it with your teeth. Keeping a man to his what? When was it, about seven years ago? Uh, more like eight. We just want to make sure you don't try for nine. Nine or ninety don't make me any difference, you jarhead. But you know very well I haven't made you any promises. Not us, friend. It was Sister Amy. Shame on you. Even a fuzz-faced old trail bum should know that when he speaks for a woman, it stays spoke till death do they part. A fuzz-faced trail bum? Why, you untie me and I'll show you. I spoke for Sister Amy. Why, you not heads, how could I speak for some woman I never saw before in a town I never heard of? Sure can't see what Sister Amy sees in him. Well, there's only one thing worse than a yelling bridegroom. That's a lying yelling bridegroom. I'm not lying, and I'm not yelling, and I'm not going to be a bridegroom. Come 7 o'clock tonight, you will be, mister. Flat out or straight up, your troth is going to be plighted in a nuptial knot that nobody's going to bust. Not a wishes. Hey, listen. Then it's gonna be flat out and stone cold, Buster, because I'm not saying any I do's for you nor anybody else. They look like I think they look like. They sure don't look like grave diggers. Isn't anybody gonna shotgun me into any wedding? Well, you better take in the walker, man. Especially with some fool female I never heard of. And if you think you're gonna well, run off at the mouth, no. <laughs> Cooks don't look so tough. They will be when they digest wishbones. <laughs> hey, if I know him, that's where we can start looking. Wrong again. That's where we'll finish looking. Mushy said general store. Uh, I have 
afternoon, ma'am. Oh, don't let us interrupt anything now. You're doing me a favor, mister. There ain't nothing that looks sillier on a big female than a big hat. Oh, now that's all in the way you look at it. I think you two are meant for each other. Put a stick in his mouth and he'd be pure lollipop. He spout that homemade sugar stuff all the time? Oh, no, ma'am. Uh, only when there's something to spout about, like uh, a fine figure of a woman. <laughs> well, if flattery's a food of fools, I'm sure living high off the hog today. Keep it up, mister. May throw in a box of sweeties. What'll it be? Uh, well, it uh, isn't an it exactly. It's a him. Uh, see, we're looking for a friend of ours. Yeah, a little fellow about Soho, salt and pepper whiskers, pale feathers to match. And sometimes when he's in a good mood, answers the name of Wishbone. Mr. Paul Bunyan would be more fitting. Paul Bunyan? Uh, you've seen him? Only once. That sure was enough. What a man. Well, at least Wishbone uh, ain't turning his pots and pans for a shroud. Uh, exactly where did you see him, man? Out front, he came in on a wagon. Thought he'd be around for a spell. When I got back, I uh, thought I'd try a bustle and bow on him. He was gone. Yeah, where to? Didn't say. Was kind of funny, though, him going off without buying anything. Of course, my brother's. My brothers. You call us, Sister Amy? Now, Brother Aloysius, why would I do that? What reason would I have to call my three big brothers? Same reason you've always had, Sister Amy. Protection. Never can tell about a couple of beady-eyed drifters like these. It's getting so even baby sisters ain't safe hereabouts. That could apply to strangers. These men are looking for a man named Mr. Wishbone. Oh, that little gent that was in here yesterday. The same. Hey, come in here and he didn't come out, according to our figure, and that means he'd still be here. Does add up, don't it? Uh, Sister Amy, you run along. We'll handle this. Handle what? If what I'm beginning to think is true. Now, there's a time for you to be thinking and a time for us to do the thinking for you. This is one of them times. They start anything, I'll finish it. Remember that. Now, about this fellow Wishbone, Mr. Uh... Baver. Yes, we got a herd a few miles east of here. Drovers. Never can depend on them. Kind of sneaky. Ah, he's probably the next county by now. Yeah, it's a shame, too. Good men these days are hard to find, let alone keep. The arithmetic's still the same. He came here and he didn't leave. And we ain't either, except with him. Mr. Favor, you better take another look around. A town this size, a stranger would have to be all shadow and twice as light to get himself lost. Unless maybe the dogs would fetch him up. I'm afraid you're just barking at ghosts. Look here. Now, uh, you look, cowboy. And while you're looking, listen. This is Claybank country. Has been since me and my brothers nailed the first two boys together about 20 years ago. Yeah, so? So when a Claybank says something here, it stays said. <laughs> you boys just made a mistake. Your friend ain't here. And neither will you be in, say, 30 minutes. Plain? Why don't you just give up on trying to find this friend of yours? With myself, I'd just write him off. How can we do that after we talk to the law? That is, providing you brothers have got no objections. Got no objections, friend? Providing you get your saying done in 30 minutes. Yeah, we'll run the whole way. Stick. Those two won't bluff. Simple. We ain't bluffing. Disgrace. 
disgraceful. Come in, come in. The damage has already been done. Damage? I missed his nose by three inches. Disgraceful. Do you always use people's pictures for targets here? Not people, the clay banks. Aloysius, Abram, and Amos. Yeah, we already met. I see. No doubt you'd like to join me. Didn't come here for game, Sheriff. Oh, that's too bad. Best way in the world to pass the time. And time's one thing we ain't got. 30 minutes, Sheriff. That's how much time we got before the shooting starts. And the shooting is gonna start, unless you help us find our friend. He came into town yesterday. Uh, about so big, whiskers, and a stubborn streak that don't stop? Yeah, that's right. You know where he is? Where all ghosts are. The Cemetery of Hope. And we ain't got time for riddles. We want straight answers, and we want them now. Do either of you know what a chameleon is? It's a lizard that changes color. One for almost every occasion. That's me, gentlemen. The only two-legged reptile north of the Pecos. The clay banks say turn green, I turn green. They say turn yellow, I turn yellow. I'm sorry, I can't help you. You see, I, I happen to be a clay bank, too. Oh, oh only a distant cousin. Well, on the maternal side, but a cousin nonetheless. That badge, Sheriff, is that related to the clay banks? Well, just the way everything and everyone in this town is related to them. They say jump, we ask how high. They say crawl, and we just belly down and start wiggling. Sorry to interrupt your game, Sheriff. Oh, there's one thing more about my cousins, gentlemen. They're uh, punctual. If they said 30 minutes... Yeah, I know. They mean 30 minutes. Tell you what, fella. You better get down on your hands and knees, because you're going to have some crawling to do right soon. be out of your mind. You ought to know you can't get away with anything like Sister this. Sister Amy, there ain't nothing in the world we can't get away with for you. But this is kidnapping. Now, it, that's the same thing. It, it's just making a man stay to his word. But this ain't the man... I mean, he's got his rights. And it ain't worth killing over. Well, it don't have to come to that. As long as we can get our little banny rooster to listen to reason. No! Ah! Reason, you untie me, and I'll give you some reasons, you overgrown fathead. Mr. Wishbone, you gotta understand. All I understand, lady, is just what you said. You're not gonna get away with this. Why, I got more friends than you can shake a board at. And when they come riding into this town, like a uh, trail boss and a ramrod, they're gonna take you and this two before town of yours into broomsticks. Mr. Favor and Roddy, they're here. You'd like to take a look? That's them, all right. Now you're gonna get it. Right where you try to do your thinking. Maybe you better look again. Yonder's Abraham. That's cousins Luke and Freddy. Amos over there in back. Them three of the Hogan brothers over there. All crack shots, Mr. Wishbone. Now, just who did you say was gonna get what for? You wouldn't. Sister Amy, this is more than just you. The Claybank Honor's on the line. Now, they ain't got much living left. And there ain't nothing gonna stop them rifles from going off. Except me. Now, I knew we'd get to understand each other. Now, who's it gonna be? Them or you?
one minute, friends. 60 seconds of seeing. So why don't you just tuck in those shirt tails and mouse out of here? Mr. Gates, I apologize. That suggestion about the saloon does seem a shame to come all this way without visiting the internationally famous uh, Abraham Saloon. Oh, yeah, sinful. I know one, two, three, boys. And no more conversation. It's up to you. If this rains, it's gonna mess up this street something awful. Abraham! Ain't you got no respect for Sister Amy's wedding day? Wedding day? Now, that little difference with our future brother-in-law has been all cleared up. Ain't that right, brother? Yeah. Uh, me and Miss Claybank, we're gonna get married. Married? How come you never told us anything about it, Wish? Well, I'm sorry about that, Roddy, but you see, I spoke up for her so long ago that I guess it clean slipped my mind. And then that fat little angel shot off one of them fat little errors, ain't that right? <laughs> yeah. So I won't be coming back to herd, Mr. Favor. No sense you hanging around. Oh, that's right, boy. So why don't you just run along, huh? I wish. Are you absolutely sure this is the way that you want it? Yeah, this is the way I want it. Well, what are we standing around for? Drinks in the house. Yay! I'm sorry, Mr. Wishbone. What for? It's your wedding day, isn't it? Needles and pins, needles and pins. When a man marries, his trouble begins. Yeah, Wishbone used to say that every day, just like it was out of the Old Testament. You know, I could figure this out with any other man on the drive, but Wishbone? Uh, yeah. Didn't even invite us to the wedding. Huh? I guess we're gonna have to invite ourselves, huh? Well, you heard what he said, eh? Oh, yeah, I heard him, but uh, he forgot something. You're gonna need somebody to stand up for him. Stand up? Yeah, good idea. It's open. Well, bust a bone if it ain't my intended's long-nosed friends. Pull up some chairs and I'll rustle you up something old and something blue. Unless you're of a mind to surround something a little stronger. All we're interested in right now is some information. Afraid it can't help you. See, this is strictly button and bow time for me. Privilege of the bride. Something old and something new. Nerves that won't stop skittering and... A lot of giggles and maybe even a sniffle or two. Folks say that's the way it always is on the happiest day of your life. Amy, what's it all about? Seems to me old shoes and wedding bells sort of speak for themselves. Yeah, but the trouble is, in this wedding, uh, it seems like a shotgun's doing all the talking. This afternoon, Wishbone was just a name to you. Tonight, you want to put a missus in front of her. Why? Come on. We're going to find out one way or the other. Either you give us the answers, or we'll have to put the squeeze on those overgrown Cupid brothers of yours. Old Mother Twitchit had but one eye and a long tail which she left fly. And every time she went over a gap, she left a bit of her tail in the trap. It's an old nursery rhyme. Except for the one eye and the tail, it could have been written for me. Old Mother Amy, witch of Claybank, caught in her own trap. I did this to Mr. Wishbone, not my brothers. My shotgun's a little rusty, but it still works, and I've got it aimed right at him. Yeah, but I don't see why. Oh, open your eyes and look, Mr. Yates. It isn't hard to see. The Lily Langtree of Diamondback Diggins. Look at me. 
It isn't hard to see that no man would ever look at me and want to look again. At first, my brothers were just embarrassed. Then I sprouted some, and they got mad. They said they'd find me a husband. I couldn't let that happen, so I told them a lie. A fairy story that was born out of words and grew into a giant carrying a ten-foot sword and two dinosaur heads under each arm. I told him I was already spoke for by a man who'd gone through here a long time ago. But they'd know him the minute they saw him. Well, then along came Wishbone, huh? I know it sounds crazy, but they believe it. I guess because they want to believe it. To be proud of this spinster they've been apologizing for half a lifetime. <laughs> Solid St. Louis, boys. Best money could buy 12 years ago. That's when my brothers got it. And that's how long they've been waiting for this night. And there ain't nothing that's gonna make them wait any longer. Not the truth, nor me, nor you. Yeah, certainly does clear things up a bit. Except for one thing. What about Wishbone? Like me, happiest day of his life. Either that or the last day of his life. six foot down on the ground and have a shotgun force me into marriage. Now, that's enough. One more word, I'll have to ask you to step outside. You? One more word. Burr. You tell me why on earth you're willing to stand up and fight for the very man that got you down on your knees. I'm not referring to the clay banks. Oh, you mean Miss Amy? You show me a woman who can fill her footprints, I'll show you a woman with feathered wings, and a golden halo, and a solid brass heart. Well, if you feel this way about her, why haven't you put your missus in front of her clay bank? Because in her brother's eyes, I come from the bad side of their family. The side that got educated, rich and flat broke in one generation. Because I take orders better than I give them. Because I'm half man and half coward. Does it really matter what those brothers think? No, but in my case, it's true. Well, well, my old mind. Rowdy, I think the sheriff's got a point. Maybe we should have uh, a drink, or maybe even two. Oh, well, you see, I've had four. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah that's a good idea. Yeah, I think maybe three. Who knows? We might find all sorts of things to talk about. Well, drink up, sheriff. Barkeep. Will you 
you stop breathing on top of my head? You know, it's just like the circular said. Nice suit of clothes will make anything look good, even a bandy leg rooster. Any more smart mouth out of you, and wedding or no wedding, I'm gonna put my foot down your gullet right up to the kneecap. Now, is that any way to talk to your future relative-in-laws, huh? It's curtain time, lover, and we can't keep the preacher waiting. Oh, uh, just one thing. Uh, your friends decided to sit in, so don't try anything, or there'll be a funeral after the wedding. Gathered here today in this good company to join together this year man and this year woman in the bonds of holy wedlock. Like the good book says, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death do you part. If that don't say it, nothing will. Now, if there's anybody here present got anything to say against this union, you better say it right now or forget it. Okay, Burr. Now's the time. Oh, uh, excuse me, Your Honor. I, uh... uh... Well, speak up, Sheriff. Well, there's something I... Crawl back in the bottle, cousin. You're holding up the ceremony. Uh, I'm sorry. You back down now. You spend the rest of your life trying to peep up over your knees. A favor? You've been warned. Preacher asked for objections, not me. Preacher. Uh, Sheriff, tell her what you told us now. What is it, Aaron? What makes the world go around, Miss Amy? The same thing that's all in fire and yet is ever freezing. What is ever sick and yet is never dying. That which is anything and yet is nothing. Oh, that does it. I knew there was a reason I was getting tired of looking at your face. Come on. No! Uh, and let him talk! Sorry. It's taken me 10 years to get to this spot, and I'm not stopping now. Not for you, not for nobody. Ten years, Miss Amy. Ten years I've been your brother's doormat. Uh, an ostrich with my pride in a hole and my head in a cloud, waiting for something called hope to make a dream come true. Uh, it, it took Mr. Faber and Mr. Yates here to make me see that hope can't be enough. Not for a dream big enough to turn a man into a mat. I don't understand, Eric. Oh, I, it's not all this ceremony I'm objecting to, Miss Amy. It's, it's the people in it. Before you say I do, I just want you to know one thing. I just want you to... Last chance, Aaron. Last chance. I just want you to know I'd be proud to be standing by your side. Oh, Aaron. I... Well, you never said. That's just it, Miss Amy. I, I never said. I never had the courage. Oh, Aaron. Uh, Miss Amy, of course, we know how deep your feelings is for Mr. Wishbone, being the man he is. Mr. Favor. But the sheriff here, you know, I do think that he does deserve some consideration. Don't you agree? Oh, uh, no doubt about it. Uh, no, sir. It's Like I always say, it's never too late, especially for consideration. I know how you must feel about this, Mr. Wishbone. Knowing the way you feel, I just... Well, I just want you to know I'd be perfectly happy to give you satisfaction. You just name the weapons. Yeah, after all, Wish, it is uh, Lily's hands at stake. <laughs> Not anymore, it isn't. Mr. Wishbone, I, I know you'll understand. Well, I have known Aaron longer. 
Well, and that settles it. I release you from your troth. Looks like the best man won. Well, let's get a fresh start, preacher. Come on, let's get out of here. Hey, Wish, ain't you gonna drink to the bride's health? I'll do that in Denver. Gather here tonight in this good company oh, to join wish. together this here man. For this here. Shove me again, you overgrown buzzard, and you're gonna pull back a stump. Me, shove it while you saw it off. Oh, stop your yelling. Who's yelling? You are. And it ruins my digestion. What grand? Paradise, you idiot. Just listen. There's nothing like a cattle drive. But you said, I thought that, that you thought living in town was a paradise. Mushy, when are you ever going to learn to never listen to anything I say? Now just pick up that stuff and move along. Now get this line going here and quit crowding or you're going to be eating stewed cowboy. Now take some bread. And I said quit crowding or you're going to be eating rocks for the next month. 